I don't know if you remember, I did a, I did an episode of, um, I did an episode on, in Club Shada where I talked about how the platforms always betray us. And interestingly, one platform decided to betray the people it used to become what it is today. And that was incredible. So, uh, wait, what did I do? Let me find the platform. Um, Okay. So interestingly, OnlyFans was not, um, it was never, I mean, it was never, it was not meant to be a porn, uh, a porn website. OnlyFans, damn, those glasses are dirty. Uh, OnlyFans was a, um, it was a, um, a platform where, and because, see the name, it was more a platform where fans could come and see different things from their artists. That's how they started. So you come to, you 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 start with um, uh, you you have you a musician you etc cetera, etc cetera, and of course we are you have an OnlyFans can I support yeah so it started more as a platform for just monetizing your fans. Let's say you are, uh, you have all your content on Instagram and on YouTube, etc. But you want to make some extra content for your subscribers, and you you can uh, you can use a platform like OnlyFans to 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 monetize that, and and people had to subscribe to your content to to see your 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 extra content. I would say. So they have to subscribe just like you would you would pay a membership on YouTube. It was more or less the same thing. But I mean it was not. I mean, yeah, just like Patreon or, or buy me a coffee, those websites where you want to put extra content and it helps you uh it helps you uh monetize your followers. But really what made the, the the good move they did back in the days was that they didn't prevent uh, sex workers and anybody that had not safe for work content to be on the platform. So you could so a lot of strippers, a lot of porn actresses, or a lot of YouTubers that wanted to do something a little more sexy, or maybe girls who were doing cam cam video live cam they also had an only fans where the, the 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 fans could pay five dollar a month fifteen dollar a month etc etc in exchange of being able to view uh explicit content so i already told you about my friend shanice uh i should have called her but she was she she was not available but I already show you her thing, but so for example, Shanice has uh, six hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Uh, she's my good friend from from like we know each other twenty years more, and uh, on on Instagram, she her content is at the limit. 
her account, her Instagram has been removed a thousand times, but she cannot post pornographic content more than the sexy stuff she posts on her Instagram. So what she does, she has an OnlyFans where you can uh, you can pay on an OnlyFans. You can pay. Shani, she owe me. I'm doing you publicity. I mean, until <laughs> kick you out. I mean, you can pay how much? Four hundred and fifty dollars for one month. So you know, usually it's nine per, per or three months for twenty-four, or maybe you can pay for a whole year for eighty dollars, right? And then you can see all the exclusive content that she has on her OnlyFans. I cannot go in. She never accepted to give me the code. I don't know why. Because she's my sister. I can see her stuff. I don't care. But she's like, hell no. <laughs> and uh, so a lot of my stripper friends uh like like shanice who who she 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 works at a strip club in miami and she also makes a lot of money from only fans so a lot of people especially during the pandemic a lot of people who work in strip clubs and 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 sex workers because they were at home they were able to create content on OnlyFans and they made a lot of money. I was talking on the phone with Shanice and she was telling me that uh, she has a, a Russian friend that lives in Miami that she has like a, a, a whole content production. Like she has, they go to the boat, they have like three, four guys comes with camera and they film everybody and they, and they deliver amazing content for you. And she had a friend that was making like $300,000 per month just from the amount of people who were willing to pay 10, 15, whatever per month. If you have, let's say if you have a thousand, a thousand fans willing to pay you $10 a month, that's $10,000 a month. If you have a hundred thousand, look, Shanice has seven hundred thousand people on, on 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 Instagram. Just, let's just say that ten percent of these people become her fans or only fan. At normal price, that's let's let's simplify to ten dollar per person. That's seventy thousand people paying ten. That's seven hundred thousand per month. And of course, only fans takes only fans takes. Uh, takes a, I don't know, 10%, 20%, 30%. I don't know what is the cut. I don't know the business there. But not only OnlyFans was the platform where a lot of these people, a lot of these people could uh, save themselves during the pandemic and have their followings and etc. But it also made OnlyFans become a huge platform. And it comes to my grip with the platforms because it's always the same thing. The platforms are going to use you to become what they want to become. And once they are there, they're going to betray you. Facebook does it. Instagram, which belong to Facebook, did it all as well. In the beginning, everybody can see your post. And then after a point when they be, when they reach critical size and they need to monetize or whatever, or they need to inv investment, whatever, all of a sudden your engagement drop because now they only show your, your publication to 5% of the people. And the 5% of those people uh, is not enough. So all of a sudden you used to have like a lot of engagement of your content, all of a sudden nothing. And when you say, hey, what's going on? They say, hey, you have to pay. And this is exactly what OnlyFans is doing, and they have their reasons. Uh, they're doing it because um, they're doing it because they are trying to become uh, to clean themselves, because they are trying to get more more funding, and and the investors are saying, hey, listen, we prefer if you had uh, you know celebrities in there, and it becomes 
a website like Patreon uh, other than all the porn that is in there. And they want to, to now that they, they are famous and they made billions out of the sex workers, now they don't need them anymore. And now they are dumping them to the curve. Porn made OnlyFans a powerhouse. Now it's banning sexual content after pressure from banks. Yep. So starting October 1st, so that's in a month and something. Uh, the company said the decision was taken to comply with requests from its banking and payment providers. Because of course, in the world of the Me Too era and the world of the people who want to Everybody want to look clean, even if everybody's dirty. Uh, the banks are like, we cannot like this money now. Um, and the platform lets sex workers charge for their fans a fee to view not safe for work material. OnlyFans is banning one of the most, one of the, the one thing most users go to its site for, pornography. The UK-based content subscription service said Thursday that it will no longer allow explicit, sexually explicit content as of October 1st. Only fans said the decision was taken to comply with the request from its banking and payment providers. In order to ensure the long-term sustainability of the platform, to continue to host an inclusive community for creators and fans, we must evolve our content guidelines, they said in a statement. So MasterCard and Visa uh, just cut tie with Pornhub uh, after accusation of porn site show videos containing under, underage sex rape and revo- revenge porn. Pornhub denying the claims and and uh, subs- tightening its rule to prohibit uploads from unverified users. Uh, Only fans said Tuesday, Thursday that it would allow certain posts containing nudity so long as it adheres to acceptable use policy. We, uh, we don't know what it means. It not, it's not clear how that will work in practice. Only fans terms of service outline a number of things that are prohibited from its platform, including material involving people under the age of 18 and other illegal harmful content. And then we will share more in the blah, 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 blah. OnlyFans claim to have over 130 million users and 2 million content creators. The company generated a net revenue of 375 million last year. Uh, OnlyFans expects to hit 1.2 billion in revenues this year and 2.5 billion by 2022. Uh, more than 300 OnlyFans creators reportedly earned at least 1 million annually, while 16,000 creators make, make at least 50,000 a year. The move is likely to anger many OnlyFans content creators who rely on the service as a key source of income. Many adult entertainers use OnlyFans to complement the work they do for other porn sites. Doing away with the content OnlyFans is best known for could severely impact its revenue. However, OnlyFans insists it is more just a platform. It, it's more than just a platform for sex workers. Celebrities like Cardi B and Bella Thorne have joined the platform in the past year, for example. It's also used chef, fitness enthusiasts, and musicians. But porn is by far the most popular category on the website. And of course, they are seeking a round of, of funding that would value it at more than a billion. So yeah, I remember a website that was full of porn. That when they get bought by when they got bought by Yahoo, uh, which is Tumblr, when they got bought by Yahoo, at a point they decided to remove all the porn because they wanted to become whatever, whatever, and this is how it died. And Yahoo bought it for a billion and then it got resold to Automatic for 300, 300 million or, or 3 million. I don't remember. But like, cheap change. I think they are shooting themselves in the foot. I understand the motivation. Like they want to become something else. But this is betrayal. Uh, 
this is how you got famous and again like i said this is what the platforms do uh they use you and then once they don't need you anymore they act like if you were not important and you were not like strategic integral part of what made their success in terms of business i believe that this is a great opportunity for pornhub uh or you porn maybe but more pornhub or maybe shadowbait uh and those or one of these porn sites that are already into the porn thing to develop not only a payment platform but also sections of their websites that will mimic exactly the functionalities of OnlyFans. Since you already are the sites that have the most traffic, I believe that you just program in your site a place for creators where creators can come and since it's already porn websites you tell those those creators stay here here we will not betray you because here we will not pretend that we want to become whatever or clean ourselves because of credit card what now nah. all good and I believe that somebody who would, I mean, if I was the owner of, of a Pornhub, for example, my, I would tell all my programmers and I will find some programmers and I will tell them, let's copy every single feature of OnlyFans and put them in the website so that people can have maybe teasers on Instagram or, or on a, even on our website directly and then special videos for the followers that can pay directly in the website. It's a great opportunity for those websites to do it. Uh, and I don't know if they will, because I remember when the, the, the quarantine started, I had a conversation with uh, somebody that is up there on YouTube. And I was telling him, hey, open the super chats to all singers and creators and buy verses and have a way to have all the singers and all the DJs who are performing on Instagram come to YouTube where there's a better quality, where we can play our music and with high fidelity, etc., etc. You have to do all this now. And it's not it's not hard. You just have to do some addendums to the contract and do some uh, tell your programmers to, 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 to turn on a few switches and you make that every creator on YouTube is able to have uh, super chats. Because if, if you don't remember, back in the days on, on, on Club Shada, we had a QR code here because there was no super chat. There was no way for people to offer uh, uh, any form of payment. And look, it's been, I don't know how long, musicians still don't have memberships. So we have to, to send people to external links where if we could have memberships, right? If we still had memberships, we would be able to, to for example, let's say I have 30 people who give me $10 a month. I could do a special show once a month or once a week or whatever that would be only for paying subscribers, for example. Maybe only the people who would be members of the channel 
would have access to this to this to this live stream or maybe it would be a live stream where they decide the subject or maybe it would be a live stream where only the the the, the members can can part participate in the chat whatever you can then decide and you can maybe i would do a show where i sing songs and it's only for members let's say i want to do a show live during the pandemic and to to listen to the to 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 be able to part to come to the show you have to be a member you have to be a member and you have to yeah and so if there's a thousand people wanting to come see you perform live in your living room and you have a band bring a, a guy with a guitar a guy with a piano and you sing your songs and you do what you love to do but you know that the 1000 people who are watching you are get are, are giving you ten thousand dollars of revenue and it makes sense then to perform other and i was like i was telling him look they're all doing it for free on instagram tell them on youtube they can make money and they moved too slow super chat arrived uh for creators maybe after six months after the conversation and instagram was already the king of life during the pandemic uh, and uh memberships yeah only for gamers still nothing for musicians and uh djs yeah they can play their music they can play stuff but sometimes they, the live still get cut so i was like you guys are too slow i sent him a long note i was like yo damn if i was a head guy on youtube i would fire people and now if you are the owner of pornhub listen have programmers look at everything that only fans offer and add it to your website and let let the creators go to your website and propose that for people so somebody like julie could not only have her her her, her normal content her normal video that she gives for free but maybe she could only put uh let's say a one minute intro or a, an extract of the videos and tell people hey if you want to see more subscribe to my account and there you go all of a sudden you can have her not only she could do live streams but she could also uh yeah just have a a, a, a library a library of content that is available under the paywall and if everything is in the same place it's always better even if it's dangerous but if you are a platform like 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 Pornhub is less dangerous than a platform like OnlyFans that all of a sudden switches on you because Pornhub is a porn platform so uh, I mean that's what I would do if I was one of these platforms I would just create a, a platform where you have okay normal platform you have everything you have the live cams you have the all the the porn library and then i would add another one i would add just an, an option for creators to have their own um their own uh, accounts where you can upload stuff and only the people who pay can see it and then you could also have a uh like on OnlyFans, I think they have some place where there's some photos. You can only see them if you pay an extra on top of what you already pay. And listen, you just add all this. So come on, it's not hard to program. Like if I had time, I'd do it myself. But and and skills. <laughs> but this is where in I, we will see what happens. But from what I saw from Tumblr this is the moment where OnlyFans just shut themselves in the foot 